My warmest greetings to all of you from Cyprus, where we are slowly starting to emerge from our lockdown. I wanted to connect with you all as we begin to turn our thoughts of the day of Pentecost, the day when the promised Spirit of God descended in power as a rushing wind and with tongues of fire upon the gathered disciples in a miraculous culmination to the earthly ministry of Jesus before he ascended into heaven. During this Pentecost celebration, Christians as the body of Christ can take strength and comfort from remembering our unity through the Holy Spirit, even if we are physically isolated from each other. We can give thanks that His Holy Spirit lives in us and that through us He can bring positive transformation, not only in our lives, but also in the lives of all those we encounter. Especially during these challenging days, we should be encouraged that, as His followers, we have the same Holy Spirit filling and helping us, whatever our earthly circumstances, as St. Paul shared in his second letter to the Corinthians. He said, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair persecuted but not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that his life may be also revealed in our mortal body. So then death is at work in us but life is at work in you. As a ministry, we will be celebrating 24 years of sharing God's message of love and hope, which is shared around the world through the efforts of all our partners and supporters. My prayer for Pentecost is that our ministry of Set 7 will continue to be like that day of Pentecost with rushing wind blowing away barriers of fear and despair in people's hearts and bringing them faith and hope.